Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about BrainFuck, the hardest programming language out there. I actually wrote a transpiler from BrainFuck to C, and I tweaked the language a bit. Let's now see the basics of this thing. The whole language is composed by 8 commands, plus, minus, right, left, dot, comma, and 2 execution control commands we will check in a second. I then added colon and semicolon commands, to improve the input slash output capabilities of BrainFuck. The language is based on a tape and a pointer, like a Turing machine, and each cell can hold one byte of data. Every cell is initialized at zero. The plus command increases the point itself value by one. If it gets past 255, it will warp back to zero. The minus command decreases the point itself value by one. If it gets below zero, it will warp back to 255. The right and left commands move the pointer respectively right or left. If the pointer reaches either end of the tape, it will warp back to the other one. The dot command prints out the point itself value as an integer. The colon command prints out the point itself value as a character, in this case a new line. The comma command reads an integer from standard input and stores it in the point itself. The semicolon command reads a character from standard input and stores it in the point itself. There are then two more commands, opened square bracket and the closed one. All commands enclosed in square brackets will be executed until the point itself at the start of the loop is zero. Here's an example to understand it, while the cell is not zero, increase it by one and then move right. As you can see, it will run until it encounters the third cell, which has a zero in it. Every character that is not a command, is considered a comment. Let's now add 10 to the current cell, and then print it as a character. This will get us a new line. OK let's transpile into C code. Here's the output. As you can see, it is pretty messy and it could be made way more efficient, but I don't care. But I want to compile my brain fuck, so let's add C to automatically use GCC to compile the output and clean to remove the C output after the compilation is finished. Let's run new line and. Here's our output. It works. Usually I like to write a tape scheme, to help understanding the code. In this case is not really useful but with more complex programs it is really helpful. Let's now check some examples that I wrote. The first one is a truth machine, it takes a binary input, if it is 0, it prints 0 and halts, if it is 1, it prints 1 forever. As you can see, it is really simple to implement in BrainFuck. Let's break it into its commands. This is a program that checks if the input is 5. As you can see this gets really complicated really quickly. To understand if two numbers are the same. We subtract them and check if the output is 0. Let's say it in action. And it works. For the last one, a silly one. This will print a banner that says LOL I love BF. In this first part it prints hello and then stores values for the number sign, space and new line. The second part, which seems the scariest, is just the banner hardcoded in. It switches to the right cell and prints it out a bunch of times. That's it. Let's run this bad boy. Okay that's it. I hope you like this video, as I put way more effort than usual in it. I have another one like this planned that I think will be event more exciting. I'm back, and I plan on staying, but for now, see you soon. <laughs>